fight with us today. Oh! Dude, we got a lot. Oh no! Possum. And all we're doing is taking a little piece of DNA from him. Oh, he's, he's like, hey man. Just a little piece of fin. So, I already recorded it. I wrote down what it is. We got our little vial here with room for this perfect little fin sample. If they're all very similar in DNA, then it's like brother or sisters. But once you start getting further apart, then you're in cousins, third cousins, fourth cousins, fifth cousins. Or... I'm on the bottom. Something big's under the boat. Let's see what Joey can do here. Oh! Let him eat it for a second. He's gonna suck that whole jack in instantly. Get him, Joey. Get him. Oh. 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 Get you another jack. Get you another jack. Get you another jack. <laughs> Didn't take long. Nope. That that lead slid down and probably got him in the way of the hook. Yeah. I'll tighten it up there. No, I'll put a pinch weight just to hold it there. Yeah. Definitely. It's still sitting there. All right, Joey's ready. Let's give this another shot. All right. Dropping down the big rig here. Got my max cell, 50, 50 wide. Probably ain't gonna take too long. I wanna put it in high gear. Get that hook in. Put it on clicker. That's catch me a sheep head. As soon as you do that, it'll get bit. Yeah. All sounds gonna go boom. It's like that scene see. where that guy's yeah. getting, letting it out, and he's like, That wasn't even Jaws they had hooked. There's some seriousness under the boat right now. Might have to put down a sheep in bait.
Everyone's getting worked. Oh. Uh, that was a good sheep head too. What happened? Pretty sure the blood rod got me. Oh yeah. Get him, Jerry. Get him. Let me get the rod. Let me get the rod. There we go. There we go. Okay. Mm. We got our sheep's head stealer. No more sheep's head. Joey is putting in the justice right now. Man, I'm just sitting in the rod holder. Yeah, he got a little greedy. That's what happened. He got greedy. Oh no! Popped him. Did he hit the rock? He had me on a rock. Oh man, let's see what happened. I was gonna try to go to the other side of the motor. Cut it clean. Cut me on a rock. Dang. We'll get that hook back. He's on it already. He ate it. You already he ate? ate it. They want the live ones. All right. Yeah, he's working me. Get him out of there. Turn on him. Don't let him get you in there again. There you go. Can you get over the loader? Come on. Woo! Get a foot up there. <laughs> All right, we got a good stance now on him. Close. You mark him out on the machine? Oh yeah. For sure. Halfway? Oh there he is. Okay. Back off on him a little bit. Get him. Get him. Oh yeah. Oh Ooh. that's a good one. He's strong. The monster. There he is, there he is. Oh, big boy. Oh. Big old boil. All right, get his head up. Oh. He's gonna dig again. There he goes. Why don't you get his head up? He head should up be all right. Water. Yeah, yeah. That leader's kind of long, but just, just pull him straight up. As long as he's down under the surface, he's gonna keep digging on you. There, you go. there he is. He's trying to get his head down again. Get that tail out of the water. Woo! Go, 
no lions. Oh my gosh. You get them in the shallow, they don't fight till they don't get tired. I can't even form a sentence, I'm tired. So, yeah. <laughs> Once we get him tired out, we're going to do a fin sample on him. It'll be sent into the glide research peoples. And they'll learn some science about it. Ah! Ah! This reel's too big for me. I can't handle it. There we go. He's in give up mode. You want your gloves? I don't really have any good gloves. I haven't turned. I haven't really gotten ready for Goliath time. So. Well, do you want to take a fin sample for me, or do you want to hold the rod? What you do is take the rod, lo loosen your drag about halfway, and put it up in that front rod holder. And then he sh it should hold him right around here perfectly. We'll get the fin sample. Oh. He's he's a kicker. Just gotta get his head up a little bit. All right, there you go. Now get him up a little higher. And then, there you go. Perfect. Looks like I snap my rod. No. Nah. Not if your drag isn't too tight. Just stand. If you want to stand here, get a hand on the rod. I'll do the rest. I'm just scared to let go of this thing. You got that? He's like, hey, man. Kicking down. Come on, kick, buddy. He's tired. He is tired. But it's shallow water, so they don't need to be decompressed. He's good. He's gone. Oh my gosh. Find him a fat lesson. No more sheep head stealers. We got a fin sample. All right. We got our little vial right here and our DNA sample. Gotta get it rolled up and get it to fit right inside there. Make sure we got it in all the way. And then the cap goes back on it. And what they do is they use these DNA samples to uh, see basically how closely related the Goliaths are to each other. And what that does is tell you an estimate of the population, how many are out there, because if they're all very similar in DNA, then it's like brothers, sisters. But once you start getting further apart, then you're in cousins, third cousins, fourth cousins, fifth cousins, or whatever it goes. I don't know exactly how it goes, but the bigger difference there is in the DNA, the more Goliaths there are. And since it is a federally protected species, they want to know. They want to know how many there are and see if there needs to be any changes made and maybe even open up a season eventually. But that's what we're doing with Goliaths. 